Welcome to my YouTube channel, everyone. For those of you who are just tuning in, be sure to check out my earlier recipe on how to do uh, birria de res. With that recipe alone, you can do much variations with the amount and the yield that you're going to have. So today, we're going to do one of the vari or two of the variations, which are going to be the birria queso tacos with the bone marrow and also I'm gonna for you people that are doing the keto thing I'm gonna do some keto tacos as well so this is my mise en place that I have Monterey Jack cheese corn tortillas birria consomme chili oil and onions and cilantro you want to heat up your griddle to about 350 degrees hit it heat it uh, hit it with some chili oil dip your tortillas in the consomme and you fill your griddle with your tortillas to start heating them up. Uh, I did about six tortillas. You want to give them enough space and you don't want to crowd them as well. So dip your tortillas and your consomme straight out to the grill. Once you do that, next step, you follow through with some Monterey Jack cheese. Give a generous helping, but also you want to keep in mind that you want to fold over the tacos. So. Don't overstuff your tacos to the point where you cannot over or you cannot fold it. So at this point, you gotta keep going with the cheese. Once you have all your cheese down, it's gonna look like that. Next step, you wanna go with each taco with a generous spoon of your birria de res. Just like so, spread it on about half of it continue on with the rest of your tacos once your video is all spread out you want to follow with another spoonful of your onions and cilantro spread them on each one go ahead and fold it over once you fold it over you want to Put all your tacos to one side and make space for your keto tacos. For the keto tacos, for the shell, I grab a nice handful of Monterey Jack cheese and you want to go ahead and spread it into a nice even layer into a circle as much as possible. Do the best that you can. Once you have that going, you let it melt down and you leave it until it starts to color. So at this point, you can leave the keto tacos going and you can concentrate on finishing up your uh, birria tacos. You wanna, if you want to crisp them up, you want to keep them on medium heat. Keep flipping them every once in a while. But if you want the softer tacos and you don't want them that crispy, they're pretty much ready to go hot off the grill. So you can see the cheese is still going. You let that go and you can start finishing up your Birria queso tacos. Uh, optional step is to hit it with some consomme. So you can keep the, mo the meat moist and the shell won't be as dry as well. So you can hit it with some consomme if you want. But like I said, these tacos are pretty much ready to be eaten. You focus back to the keto tacos. When they're golden brown like this, you want to get a paper towel, wipe up the excess oil, and you want to flip them because the bottom is going to have a nice flat layer, a nice flat surface that you can continue to fill with your meat. And for this, you don't need, you can have cheese, but you don't really need it because the shell is the cheese. So you hit it with some birria and then with some onions and cilantro. And you pretty much basically are done with the keto taco if you fold it over. This is, this is, these tacos are for those of you that are into the keto thing and are not trying to consume excess carbs. Once you fold those over, pretty much done. That's the keto taco. You can go ahead and plate it. Transfer it to a plate, and your tacos, your other tacos are pretty much done. So at this point, we can get ourselves ready to eat. 
Beautiful shot of the keto taco there. One last step for the regular tacos. Uh, if you go back into my Birria Derez video, I said I'd like to use beef shank for one reason, is the bones have the bone marrow. So that's like a bonus that you can save and you can stuff it in your tacos like I'm doing now. So these are the bone marrow stuffed birria tacos. It's going to be uh, added extra bonus to your tacos. So we can start preparing to eat. Get a cup of consomme. Garnish it with some onions and cilantro. And do not forget the ice cold modelo. Modelo is the drink of choice when I'm eating Mexican food. These are the finished bone marrow stuffed tacos. We served it with some lime and some radish. That's pretty much it. Beautiful dinner. If you like what you see, please smash that like button, follow and subscribe. I'll leave the ingredients and measurements in the comment box below. Please follow me if you like my content and be sure to check it out for more other recipes coming your way. Take care. Hope you try this recipe out and see you in the next video. Aloha.